it's a trophy as well. It's um, and and was it the first time in many years that that we've beaten him? So um, I think it was a, a big step for us. And something that came across in that match, and we saw so much last season, was the team spirit from within the squad. And we see that from the outside. What's it like to be part of it? Is it that strong? No, it is without a doubt um, the strongest that I've ever uh, been part of. Uh, and, and is a major factor in, in us winning, winning the friendship last year. I think um, the hunger and the desire to win and the togetherness is um, without a, a doubt um, a, a, a major part of, of how strong we are and how, uh, how, we'll, how strong we'll continue to be. Now to the start of the season and our opening game was against New Boys Wigan. We played the first half, we won it at the death. Did we maybe underestimate how good we thought Wigan were? No, I don't think so. I just think um, full credit to them. We didn't play uh, at our best and, and they played probably one of their best games. I think uh, adrenaline will always be a, a part in their game on the first day of, uh, of the Premiership. Uh, and you know, we said it to each other before the game, it's going to be it's going to be a battle and uh, we, we came out on top. And it does show the character of the team again because we're a team that can they can maybe not play at our best but still grind out three points and that's a, a big plus to have. There were then a round of internationals before we would play Arsenal in the league and in the build up to that Michael Essien was signed. You were now playing as part of the midfield, there was a lot of hype about Michael Essien arriving. You said you found competition healthy but was there any kind of worry with him coming into the side? No, it's, it's for me personally, uh, obviously, uh, you know, what is my role going to be? But I, I've always said to myself, if if I'm on top of my game and if I show my qualities, that I'll always put pressure on the manager to pick me. Um, and I mean, I've done it. It's now what six, the sixth season that we're going into it. And I think when you look at the you know, previous five seasons, I've always, you know, I think I've always come out on top, and I think my qualities have always. Um, given me a place in the team or earn me a place in the team. After matches with Spurs and West Brom, Iceland then had two World Cup qualifiers against Croatia and Bulgaria. Now sadly you didn't win either of those, which would mean not going to the World Cup finals. How disappointing was that? Because I know you're so passionate about representing Iceland and playing. Yeah, the it's um, a little bit the same story again. We, we, we played very well actually. Uh, we went 1-0 up against Croatia at home. Uh, playing one of our best games and then we seemed to let it slip in the second half. Um, we went 2-0 up in Bulgaria and we ended up losing 3-2 so there's a bit of a, uh, as you say, a change in generation I'd say in Iceland. There's a lot of young players coming through which is a positive but maybe um, in the middle of a qualification it's not so positive because a lot of changes um, means that we don't have uh, much experience in the team but you know even even the Icelandic people were saying it's some of the best football we've played unfortunately is not uh, bringing us any points in the table. Mentally is that hard to then come back to Chelsea and forget about what must have been very disappointing and get back to Chelsea or are you very good at being able to sort of just switch off one thing and switch <coughs> on to another? No I think I'm very easy with that because it's, it's been like this for years with me. Um, I think it, opposite is a, a slightly, slightly different because here I'm used to such a winning mentality that you know we, we draw and it, it seems like everyone just thinks, well, what's going on? Uh, we didn't win today. Uh, while in Iceland, a draw might be a great result. So it is slightly, slightly different than um, the way I approach games, but. I'm just proud to, to represent my country and proud to be uh, the, the, the captain of the team. Back to Chelsea, you started at home to Sunderland. Claude McAuley was out, so Michael Essien was playing in the holding role. How did you find playing alongside him in the midfield and what do you think he brings to the side? No, I th I th he's, he's very strong, he's, he's very athletic. Um, uh, I'd say maybe a little bit similar to, to McAuley as players. Uh, they, they uh, keep the midfield very very compact, very tight uh, and, and he's tidy on the ball. Uh, it's a shame I, I only realised after the game that I <laughs> had tonsillitis and uh, went down with illness for a week after that and uh, I think um, maybe in hindsight I, I shouldn't have played that game but uh, I didn't, re didn't realise how, uh, how bad I was feeling.